On a one to 10 physical confrontation, this is a 10. Get him, go, go, go. He watches yeah. if I leave my daughter there, so then he can take her. He's on a leaky drive, we're gonna try to find him. This is it, catch me if you can, you know. Wait, there he goes, right there. Okay, you guys, have a seat, Sonny, Beth. Leland, tell us what's going on. We got a revocation. His name is Timothy DeCastro. What's his charges? Abuse of a household member, violation of a restraining order. I bailed him out almost a year ago. He did perfect while he was out on bond. Then the ex-girlfriend calls me up, says that he beat her up really bad, put her in the hospital. Since he knew he had an APP, he didn't show up for his court dates. And ever since then, he's been harassing the whole family, calling them up, saying he's going to kidnap his daughter. He's going to shoot himself in front of the wife and daughter. So this is a full-on bounty. Who's the co-signer? The ex-girlfriend co-signer. But the mom wants to see this guy in jail so bad that she's willing to help us out. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the baby for the bait. Oh, you're being that they're going to say you could come see your daughter, but he's not going to get that close to see the baby. Mm -hmm. So let's call the co-signer. So Mara is the ex-girlfriend. So we got the girlfriend and the mom right here. Hello. Hey, yeah, is this Mara? Um, no, this is the mom. What's up? Oh, this is the mom. Hold on, hold on. My dad wants to talk to you. Hold on. Hi, so we need to get him put, you know, right away so he don't hurt himself or someone else, yeah? Yeah, definitely, because he got right me and my daughter's baby. Leland's going to talk to you, make a plan, like he's going to come visit the baby, and then we'll, you know, swoop in from there, OK? Where do you think he's staying at? Well, maybe we can go by, like, mixed plate or something. By mixed plate? Yeah, yeah, if you could say he could come to mixed plate, then that way he's in a cul-de-sac right there, and he can't really get away, you know what I mean? Yeah. And we're going to head out to town, and then we'll hook up with you guys in about 45 minutes. I think. We're going to meet them over there. Then they'll call him and say, do you want to see your baby? And then they'll say, OK, well, we'll meet you over by on a mixed plate. So when he pulls in, we're going to grab him. He's already threatened. He's going to shoot it out. He's going to commit suicide. You get him out of his house and bring him to our lair. All right, so let's suit up and go. On a 1 to 10 a physical confrontation, this is a 10. This guy, the threats he's been making, someone like that is very volatile, and if you even push them the wrong way, they will blow. So just in case we need extra intimidation, we bring Sonny Westbrook. Is that time again? Yeah. I know this guy's cagey. I know he's going to try to run. I just hope that he don't have an opportunity to injure himself or anybody else. They're sitting there, they have two vehicles. In the red and the white vehicle. Over. All right, let's talk to him. Hello. How's it? How are you? Which one is the wife then? That the ex girl. That one, okay. okay. We're going to tell her to say, The baby's here. We're eating at Kona Mix Plate. If you want to see the yeah. baby, come yeah. here. We should get over there before you call him because he might send somebody to look yeah. or check it out. Yeah. Not you think he will do that? He's yeah. that smart? He is yeah. that smart. I was telling her about one black Honda that was sitting up top of my house for two days. Uh -huh. And she said, that's the that's one. That's the people he's with. That's watching my house. And I told her it looked like somebody was laying down in a back seat. So what's he watching the house for? Because my he, house knows, he watches for when I go over there yeah. if I leave my daughter there so that he can uh -huh. take her. Is that him? Yeah. Just don't answer the phone. That's so him calling. How, how often has he called you? I can count it right now. Two, three, four, yeah. five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy. Between yesterday and today. Seventy sometimes. He's going to meet her. 
You got voicemails? Yeah, I have voicemails saved because they were like more threatening. Yeah, let us hear them. Okay. First unheard message. Don't f lying to me. I should have listened to every word and violent when they said you're nothing, mother. End of message. Huh, he's a nut. He needs to be in jail. And what'd he do? Get you to do something wrong like that? He do this. Right, right, me. right. That's what happens. He's, he's not he's packing like a lot of ice and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a gun. He says he has an AK and started. I had the cops in my house three times last week. Is that him calling? Is he calling you? Yeah. you? That's him? Yeah. Let's go to mixed play. Come on. Let's go. He's like a stalker, yeah? Call somebody 50, 60 times like that. He'll come to the baby, so we're going to have her call him and say, OK, I'm here right now. Come meet me. His whole life is boiling down to this one moment, this one showdown. This guy's cagey, I know he's gonna try to run. Plus he's getting high, staying up. He just decided one day to say, this is it. Catch me if you can, you know? Very violent guy, he wants to grab his baby. Now instead of having the baby in play, we're gonna take the baby away from the area and make the baby safe. So he's not gonna get that close to see the baby ain't in there. I wish we could put Leland in the little carrier and Leland go. <laughs> Hi, Daddy. <laughs> he would almost fit, Dad. <laughs> Leland, Dwayne Lee said, can you fit in that baby carrier? And then when the guy comes to look at the baby, you pull the blanket back and go, please. <laughs> <laughs> well, we know Dwayne Lee's fat. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. There's nothing right here. So I'm going to drive the car up yep. to the mix plate. And he's going to pull in, and all you got to do is block his car. OK, ready? There's mix plate right there. So we need to go over there and wait in this little cubby hole. OK, we've got to get in here quick. Seems like a good plan. I mean, if we can all hide in there, the restaurant where he doesn't know we're at, and we get him away from his vehicle, perfect. Where's your baby carrier? Oh, mom. They're closed. So what, she could still have the baby sitting right here? Yeah, he don't know that. I would just sit right there, honey, call him and tell him you're sitting out in front of Mick's plate and it's closed. Yeah, but when he gets out here, he's going to see that my baby's not in here. Don't worry. He's not going to get that close to see the baby ain't in there. OK, go. What's going on? Who's that? Who's that? Huh? Don't worry about it. No, I have to do it, or I have to pay $8,000 on him. I don't know what's going on. I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you after. I'll talk to you after. Well, who is she? OK, get a hold of him now before she calls him. Shh, shh. Really, you think you're funny, huh? Whatever. We'll do what to you? You wouldn't punch mine, you dumb Whatever, bye. He said that he he heard you guys in the background or something. What happened? He said he heard us in the background on the phone, the last phone conversation. So now he's saying, I know Leland's there waiting for him. I can't believe you would do that to me. Yeah, but he's saying, where's Wait, she's with, she's safe with my sister, guys. So you're writing a book or what? What? We're after what? a felon. You're going to go to jail what? for what? interfering in a felony oh. arrest. This is my to go to jail. She's ruining the whole arrest. Get her out of here. We're trying to keep our community safe, and she's trying to blow our. I didn't know what's going on with her. None of your business. You see this? Eh. Come on, Beth. Eh. Sunny. Come on, Beth. Eh. It's none of your business. Hey, Beth. Get your hands off of her. Okay, let's find a different spot. He knows we're looking. He heard us. You know, there's a little bit of volatile going on here. This is an old uh, bar called The Mass. So, you know, anytime they see some action in here, they want to try to get their nose in it. Get your baby thing, honey. Let's go. This location is not good because there's a lot of people that know him around here. But I have a lot of faith in the mother and the girlfriend. They're going to help us catch him. 
hopefully we didn't scare him away. By the way he's calling her, I think the desire to see her is greater than trying to run. And so we're gonna regroup and think of plan B. He knows we're out here. There's no question about it. So it's only gonna get harder from here. This over here is a perfect spot. We need to figure out a new plan right from here. I think that we need to let him stew a little bit because the last I told her was to hang the phone up on him. See, I don't think that's right because if someone spots us here. No. That's block call, that might be him calling me. Answer, see who that is. Bill Bonds. What's up? What, what do you? If you would have turned yourself in in the very beginning, you wouldn't have missed a beat. But now you missed your court date and all kinds of shit, you know what I mean? You know the truth, Timothy? Every day you're out, you're getting yourself deeper and deeper in shit. Listen, I gave you my word, I got you out of jail. You remember that? Uh, the, the girl that stays with him is kind of my friend. She said that he's walking somewhere on a drive now. He's walking somewhere and leaving. Yeah, yeah, that's So. Beth, get in the driver's seat. Let's go to Elite Drive where he's walking. Let's go find him. Go, go. Hey, I don't know. keep talking. Go. You, man. Get in the drive. I will, I promise. I promise. Where, where, where do you want to meet at? Okay, he's on Elite Drive. We're going to try to find him. Yeah. All right, bye. Corner mix plate, five minutes. Five minutes, corner mix plate. He wants to come and meet me. All right, let's go. He just told the girl he's walking on Elite Drive. I think he's lying to them. He ain't gonna walk that far. He's a big, big, big guy. All right, we'll check it, but we ought to be checking Elite Drive in the meantime also. Good for This is it. Head straight down to the mystery place. Let's do a drive by. Got here. Well, here's the leaky drive. Let's go back on the leaky drive. He's really close. There's a guy getting ready to cross the street with no shirt on. Yeah, I see that. No, that ain't him. All right, 10-4, let's just find him. Head down to the mystery spot. Anything, anybody? Negative. All this area, everywhere, look for the guy. Punch it, right side, go, Dwayne Lee. Wait, there he goes, right there. No. Yeah, that's him. All this area, everywhere, look for the guy. Punch it, right side, go, Dwayne Lee. Anything, anybody? Negative. That, wait, there he goes, right there. No. Yeah, that's him. No. There he goes, right there, surf, uh, maroon surf shorts, walking down. Yeah, right right there, right there. Is that him? Double check, that's him. That's him. Whoa, whoa. There, go, go, go. Get some handcuffs. Don't you move. What's up, bro? Hands up, gets here. Just keep me good. Be good. Nah, bro, why you guys gonna do this in the oh, front of my car? Listen, stop. Oh, oh. Let's go, we got him. Here, Leland, stay with your guy. Timothy, come in here. Watch it, Dwayne. Okay, go, 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 Justin. Get in the car. Go. We gotta get out of here fast. Guys, right, sorry for this, bro, Leland. Bro, I'm sorry for this too, Timothy. Why, why are you getting high and why are you doing your thing? You know what I'm saying? Because, bro, Leland, man, I'm tired of getting my heart broken. I know, but listen, she would have talked to me like a man, I could have fixed it. I would have said, okay, we need to get your, a new co-signer, put them on the line, I'll take her off. I deal with boyfriend, girlfriend every day on Bond, you know what I mean? Sorry for this, bro. My father, man. Turn right in here to HPM. Wait, is she coming over here with my daughter? Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. Okay, bring him out. Come on. 
Oh, she's too young to remember what you look like in cuffs. It's we're just gonna do it right. She'll forget about it. He should care about how he treats his mama. Yeah, I'm sorry. Who said he's sorry, Beth? All right, now how much ice you got in you? Uh, but are you still Jones and your jaw and everything is going bad? Boy, I never smoked for two days. Two days. Well, it takes Three four to get out of your system. Get you in. smoke cigarettes? Yeah, yeah what bro, kind? please. What kind? Any kind. All right, hold on, Tom. All these guys might feel sorry for you, but other women are not going to. I listened to all those messages that you left her. It's terrible. Sorry, bro. I don't care. 76 phone calls. You called her while I was standing next to her. I knew I could hear, brother. You That's couldn't hear. I heard. I heard. Was saying, bro, he gonna roll up. He ain't getting nowhere. Doesn't matter. You know we caught you. You thought you're so slick. Everybody only see what I do, but nobody see ya. She can get her there, bro. She can get punished too. You're a nut. Uh, please, not. Thank you. No, you're in custody. You don't got don't that choice now. Like that. Girlfriend and the mom right here. Again. Hey, have a nice day, huh? Enjoy you guys' this life. Enjoy my daughter, huh? Hey, don't, don't do that. Uh, well, listen, I'm doing this as a favor, all right, to you. So don't make me look stupid and, and lose your temper, all right? That's all we're asking for, 20 minutes of respect. That's it, OK? Shh. Be nice now. 20 minutes. OK, listen, Timmy, we're going to do this in two parts, OK? Now, you two both, you don't like her, and she don't much like you. From day but, one. But from day one. But, but for I... the rest of your life, at least, what's the baby's name? Harmony. At least the rest of Harmony's life, you as a father and her as your mother-in-law are going to have to learn at least to be sociable. Because you need a friend in this family. That means when she calls you up and goes, Timmy, I don't want you hitting my daughter no more to put her in the hospital, you stop that <laughs> if you got to go outside and hit your head against a tree. How much do you love that baby girl? Right. Then, my then let's prove it from this day, this second on. To ease your brain, your daughter going to be with me. You need to my daughter. I got to try to work out something. I got to get my application that I filed you for. I know I'm going to get cleared because I did good for six years. I got off early probation. And no matter what, like I told you, Tim, I need you to keep your friends away from our house so I can maintain your daughter and not have to worry and look behind my back all the time. OK. Mara, yeah. come here. Come closer. Yeah, you cannot hit a woman again. Big as you are, hit that little girl. What's wrong with you? Because every day my friends tell me, oh, bro, is this saw your girlfriend and so and so. And then I ask her nicely, bro, just please be honest. I don't care. I'm always going to love you. You have my daughter. And she lied until I bust her right hand in. Excuse me? Stop that. Remember what I said. Yeah. See, look, the truth hurts. Listen. Listen. I you can stay out of my life. See, bro? Stop. Mara, come here. You can't be so mean to her and talk to her. Now, I want to hear an apology to her. I'm very sorry for everything I've done. And that guys, includes bro. everything. Very I am, but you need to know that I don't appreciate being called a Whatever you want to say. I never called you anything like that. Bro, you know, I just like get help, bro. That's all I like for my daughter. When I do come out, bro, just please, that's all I ask you guys, bro. Just please don't keep my daughter away that's from fine. me. That's fine. You bro. can see her, but you're not going to be acting like this. If you want to see her, you can't act like this. Right. I brought her over here for you to don't see, act and crazy, you act like that. And you can get her. You know what I mean? Come, please. let him kiss the baby. Is that your daddy? You make oh, look, she got the same face you got sometimes. You see that? Uh, look at that. Loves. It loves. Loves, loves. Come on. You know how. Let's go. Thank you. Hope you can find harmony, because uh, this is a lot of drama for her little life already. All my life, I've been in boys' home, and Luke, well, made me more. How old was you when you went to a boys' home? Oh, yeah, like 13. Why'd they put you there? Backing up, <laughs> anger problems. Every time you lose your temper, you lose, right? But truthfully, you love your baby, right? Isn't yeah. she safer with your wife right now than right. you? Not what, I, don't, I don't know, man. Well, you got to know that. You're getting rebuilt, refurbished, rehabilitated. You're getting that and right now. I don't even miss no court dates. What court dates I miss? 
You beat up the old lady, bro, really bad. That's terrible. Bad, how oh, really? That's really bad. That's bad. You can't well, you even whack her hard, bro. Yeah, it doesn't. You, want, you can't want. even whack at all. He wants to be a daddy, but he wants to party and, and do all the other <laughs> too, and you cannot do both at the same time. Hopefully here, this teaches him a little bit, and when he gets out, he can start working on getting on the right path. This here, you blame on the parents that raised that boy right there. Didn't teach him nothing. If they did, he forgot it all. OK, this is a family promise, all right? You, yeah. you right now, raise your right hand. If you ever hit her again, even a slap, Uncle Sonny can come crack me. Uh, I will not, and if so, Uncle Sonny will come crack me. Now, that's a deal. I swear on my skin. I swear on my skin, everything. All right, yeah. that's step one. Let's go. He loves his baby. He just doesn't know how to do that. This kind of little domestic stuff is what ends people up in jail. So you're going to do a discharge of third? Uh, yes, sir. How old are you, 22? 21. You're still not even a man. You're a young man. Hang around men, you'll become one, all right? All right. Thank you, Timmy. I should have just listened to everybody from the start, man. Yeah. Come on, Timothy. The baby is a really big reason to get your life together, but, you know, it may or may not be enough for him. Tim has to get straight. But if he doesn't, there will be no harmony for them.